Hello, everyone. I right, ain't doing this. Mike Sex Millionaire Maker. And with me, I'll make you a millionaire. So this is day 188 of my 365 day YouTube content creation challenge, where I challenge myself for the next 365 days to bring you useful and valuable content that I can post to my YouTube channel and try and help bring the benefit of knowledge that I've gained over the last four years as an entrepreneur to somebody out there. Uh, so if you're watching this video, I'd appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up. Go ahead, hit the thumbs up. If possible, hit the subscription button and probably share this video with at least five people and I appreciate that. All right. So my name is Michael Sykes, the Millionaire Maker. Hang with me, I'll make you a millionaire. Okay. So um, today is... Oh, I don't even know, to be honest with you. I just be getting lost. Oh, today is Thursday. Today was Thursday. The... Oh, snap. Thursday the, oh man, here we go, Thursday the 8th, okay, Thursday the 8th, ah, I gotta go through here, somebody's supposed to be paid, don't know who, but somebody, okay, and um, really if you see right now, if you, if you notice, I'm kind of confused about what I'm doing. I just started my video because I know I need to get this video over, you know, because I'm going to need to get up in the morning. Uh, it's 12.20 now. I haven't even checked my emails. I did manage to get my stocks in. Okay, so I can tell you about that. Also, um, I get, quick note, um, like I said, my car went out on Toro. I put it on the platform the other day. It got rented out. It got reserved yesterday. She picked it up this morning. As far as from today till next Thursday, I get $193 for that. Now, you know I got my cars tracked, right? So I can see wherever they at, when they at, okay? This woman is all the way in Florida. <laughs> this woman is all the way in Florida. Okay? All uh, right. Like, High Tech Avenue, Aflia, Florida, 32817. Okay, they got the address where she got and everything. But the woman is in 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, because um, I think what it does is it reports times three hours, like, I guess we maybe, I thought we was four hours, but I'm guessing we three hours away from California time because that's where it starts its location off is in California. Okay. And shit. This woman. I don't, I be wanting to ask these people what do they be doing for a living? Because. All right. Nine, 10, 11, 12. This morning. She was in Jonesboro, okay? 9, 10, 11, 12 o'clock this morning, she was in Jonesboro. Uh, 11, 12, 1, 2. By 2 o'clock, she was in Sick Sycamore, Georgia. Hour later, she was in Lake Park, Georgia. I guess she was on her way to Florida by then. Yeah, because 3, 4, 5, 6. By 7 o'clock, she was in Florida, <laughs> okay? Now, the one other thing that I know that I did do is I did set the um, set the um, mileage gauge, okay? You have one, you have two, and you have the odometer. I did set the mileage gauge at zero so that when she took off, it started at zero. One and two is at zero. So when she do get back, I will know exactly how many miles that she did do, okay? But like I said right now, I can see that she is in Florida. Because, uh, like I said, what? She hit, went through, she hit. After Sycamore, hour later, she was in Lake Park. Uh, four minutes, no, she was still in Lake Park. 12. Hour and a half later, she was in Oklahoma, Florida. Then Orlando. And she was in Orlando, then Union Park. Okay. So right now she's uh I'm guessing this oh yeah, it's a subdivision. A subdivision near Ebony Lake in Florida. 
Let me tell you. I like that. That's what I like about the trackers. Uh, the more things that I've been thinking about, I'm thinking. I'm thinking about getting me. Some, I've been listening to these people lately over like the last month or so, and I've been learning a lot of things that I haven't been noticing. You know, especially about this group of alphabets. That's the most I'm going to say, because my page ain't even got started yet, so I don't need no trouble from nobody right now, okay? So I'm just going to refer to them as this group of alphabets, okay? Now, um, people are bringing it to people's attention, all right, about what's really, really going on. All right, like like Dr. Boyce says, so, okay, he speaks about how the Chinese have like a, a 50 year plan, a 100 year plan, okay? A 200 year plan on where they expect to be, all right? And it's kind of, if you know that they have a plan like that, it's kind of stupid, I would say, in order to think that this other, um, I try not, I'm trying not to use these flat out labels, okay, but this other fraction, a group of people, okay, are dead set on keeping things status quo, all right, meaning that uh, you came into this world with a slave mentality. And they want you to keep a slave mentality because as long as you have a slave mentality, they stay on top, they stay getting rich, and they keep you where you're at, all right? Because you have a slave mentality. And uh, I'm starting to follow people, okay, on YouTube that are starting to point this out about the situation of life that's going on right now, okay? And like, the way it is, you wouldn't know it because you try not to see it. But I'm about to have me. I'm about to get me a T-shirt made, okay. And on this T-shirt, on the back, it's going to be a bullseye. All right. On the top, it's going to say "Endangered Bullseye Species." Okay. And on the front, it's going to say "Heterosexual Black Man." All right. Because, see, right now there is a, uh, what do you, it, I, I call it a plot, okay, flat out. There is a plot to eliminate the heterosexual black male, okay. There is a, a systemic plot to uh, systemically eliminate the heterosexual black man. All right. And the way that one person, um, Angela Stanton King, puts it is that if you notice, they really go out of their way to make a lot of immoral things normal. OK, appear to be normal. OK, so that they can normalize it so that it can be all right every day. All right. And like the things that I'm no. The, one of the things that is going on, and that is to eliminate what I represent. And what I represent is a heterosexual black male, okay, that is the head of a household, okay. This um, alphabet group, this alphabet group, this three-letter alphabet group, all right, um, they stated on their website, okay, in the beginning, they've probably taken it down now, but they stated on their website that their goal, all right, was to eliminate, to eliminate the heterosexual black male, all right, to take us out of the household so that we have no control or we're not running nothing. All right. We have no power at all. We don't even run our household. And I'm starting to see, OK, um, that if you're not careful, 
Honestly, if you're not careful, they're honestly trying to take your rights away from you to parent your own children. All right. They're trying to make it legal out here for the state to come in and tell your child, your little child, okay, five, six, seven, four. All right. If they at one time just uh, hint or insinuate that they want to be something other than their self, okay? If you have a son and your son is, you know, just for some reason gets it in his head that maybe he wants to be a girl, okay? They're trying to make it legal that the state can come in and take your child and turn your child into a female or, or rather um, mutilate your child's body, okay? And give your child medication, hormone blockers and things like that to stop them from producing their normal hormones like men have hormones that show that grow beards women have hormones that grow breasts and things like that and they can come in and give your children hormones give your female your daughters hormones to start them to grow in hair, facial hairs, all right? And to deepen their voices, okay? And to give your sons hormones and medication, you know, to start them generating breasts and milk and things like that, okay? Because that's what they said that they wanna do and you have no control over it. You have no say so over it. Okay, you have no, they just come in and take your children and hey, your daughter, your son said he wants to be a girl. So we're going to make your son a girl. You have, and that's what they're trying to make legal. All right. And in the process, you know, and a fraction of that, like they started this a long time ago. All right. Like the president, what they have in office right now. Okay. It's, um, I can't, I can't say it, he was a part of it. All right. And when I say he was a part of it, it was a part back in the 80s where there was a thing about there was um, an era of mass incarceration. OK. And the mass incarceration and the majority of this mass incarceration were black men. OK. Young black men. OK. And if you take young black men off the street, you stop them from reproducing black babies. OK, that's one of the things that's part of their agenda, too, to stop black babies from being born. That's why, if you notice, they have abortion clinics in every black neighborhood. OK, trying to get these girls to kill these women and these girls to kill off their babies before they're even born. Because like Margaret, um, a racist Margaret Singer said, you know, the best way to kill a nigga is kill him before he's born. All right, that way we ain't even got to deal with them. We ain't got to worry about them. And that's what they're, they're systematically out here trying to do to us. Okay? And hey, if you, if you take, you know, because where is it? Honestly, where is it in society that you have two children? Okay, remember what remember what the um, American dream the dream used to be, you know, a, a husband, a wife, two point five children, and a dog in a house with a white picket fence. Remember, a husband, a wife, two point five kids. I don't know how you get two point five kids, but two point five. Okay, and they most likely a boy and a girl. All right, so you have a boy and a girl. You have a girl that can re that can reproduce and bear children. You have a boy that can re that makes, generates, reproduces, bears children, okay? Where, when did it start to be that you would have two children, a boy and a girl, and the boy will wanna be a girl, and the girl will wanna be a boy? Now, if you think about it like this, like Angela Stanton King says, the reason, the main reason that they try to do this is for population. One is for population control. Okay? Population control. Because, hey, like they say, if you got one, one, one drop of black blood in you, you're no longer full-blooded anything. You're considered black. 
All right. Now, if you have a nation of a group of people that think they the shit. All right. And hey, they could, they want to control everything. What the hell? All right. And they want to control everything. And here is their numbers. And here is your numbers. OK. But at the rate that you're populating. Your numbers are getting like this, and then you're intermingling with them, okay? So when they don't be one-on-one -on -one together and produce another pure blood, okay, that race becomes mixed, and then it becomes diluted. Then it starts to get eliminated by a race that they have already said that, hey, if you got one drop in you, you become them. All right, meaning that the more black come into the world, all right, the less they become. And eventually, instead of them being the majority, they will eventually, because when they brought us here, they became the majority. It was more of them than us. Well, okay, I don't really know that, but I know that statistics are saying that they are becoming the minority. All right. We're diluting their bloodline to the fact where they eventually won't have one. So what's the best way to stop that from happening is to eliminate as many of us as they possibly can. All right. This has been going on forever. OK. And like I say, the more that I start to listen to this, the more, you know, it be. If you think about it, it becomes nerve wracking. All right. To know that you are systematically an endangered species, that there is a fraction of alphabets out there that wants to do away with you. OK, don't you find that very frightening? You know, and like what I, I keep saying, I, this is be the third time I said her name, Angela Stanton King. And because she's the one who really pointed it out to me, all right, like one of the reasons that they try to eliminate us, okay, and get rid of the heterosexual family is because we're the only ones that can create life, okay? You can't take two men, put them together and create life. You can't take two women and put them together and create life. You need a man and a woman in order to create life. Okay. And so they want to be able to control everything. All right. They want to be able to control what lives come into this world. What do you do with your life? All right. And as long as there are people like me that are out here populating the world, making, as they call it, toxic masculinity, men. All right. Because. I have five sons. I have five sons. All right. That means I made five men. All right. And as far as I know, okay, as far as I know, my five sons are heterosexual males. Okay. And my five sons are doing their jobs out here, same as I was doing my job when I had my child 12 children. <laughs> but my, as far as I know, my sons, except for one, well, one of them I don't know. Two of them I don't know, okay, of. Don't know of, okay, as far as knowing them, have seen them and talked to them, okay, three of of mine. One I've never, two I've never met. Okay, so one I don't really know. I can't speak on that one. All right. Um, as far as I know, I don't have no grandchildren by another one, but I do have grandchildren by the three that I do know. One of them has one, and then I got a few more by the other two. They're doing like their daddy. Hey, they working on their population uh, thing. God said, hey, be fruitful and multiply. So that's what I went out here and did. Okay. Now, um, but like I said, it's... It's disturbing to know, like, what's going on, okay? I still have not watched the BET Award. And the reason that I have not watched the BET Award is because the more that I become aware of what's going on and the things that they're doing, you know, 
I have to try my best to uh, combat that. Okay, and if I know, like, the BET Awards, from just the things that they um, talked about, okay, like, some of the things that they pointed out. A few years ago, during the Super Bowl, Janet Jackson and Justin Timberlake were doing the halftime uh, show, okay? And at the end of their routine, Justin Timberlake was supposed to grab, do something, but his hand was on ja Janet's titty, all right? And when he moved it off, the flap came open and exposed her nipple, exposed her titty, right? On national TV, okay, at the Super Bowl. These people went nuts. They had a fit. They damn near tried. Uh, this was kind of like before council culture, okay? But they did their best to try and blackball Janet because of a wardrobe, as they say, was a wardrobe malfunction, but we know it wasn't a wardrobe malfunction, but they had a fit, okay? That was then. Cut to today, you have little Nas X sliding down a stripper pole to hell, giving the devil a lap dance, and standing on stage tongue kissing with two niggas, all right? And here it is. If you think about it, like I said, they, they, when you first heard about Little Nas X, okay, he can't, they say, it, I never heard of the song Old Town Road in the first place. It, they say it was a country song, but they say it was a children's song. It was a country song made for children, okay, because all the children were singing this song when Little Nas X made it. And they say he was going around to the different schools, okay, building his fan base off of little children. He wrote a children's book, okay? Building his fan base off of little children. Then after he done the Old Town Road and got all these people, all they got his fan base and everything, most of them are little kids, They he come out with a, with a video, like I say, of him sliding down a stripper pole to hell giving the devil a lap dance. Then after that comes out, he comes out with a shoe that's supposed to be by Nike with a pentagram on it, representing Satan, and it's supposed to have real blood, human blood in it, okay? And all this is geared towards our children. And like they say, okay, how does a child act five years old feel like he's a girl or believe that he should be a girl because he feel like he's in the wrong body. You know, I don't understand that. Okay. And then it's like, it's a whole lot to it. It's a whole lot to it. It baffles your brain if you think about it. Okay. And like I say, the more that I've been just observing these people. It's like Tariq Nishai, Nishid, Angela Stanton King, uh, Judge Joe Brown, uh, Dr. Boyce, all these different people, okay? They um, seem to be knowing what's going on. Like Angela Stanton King, y'all can go back on YouTube and look it up. They had her and her child on the Dr. Phil show. All right, now Angela Stanton King, y'all can look her up. You might, you, uh, when you look her up, you might see that um, she was locked up. She gave birth to a baby when she was locked up, okay? Chained to a bed, all right? And she got a pardon from, she got a pardon from 45, which is Trump, okay? Right now, I, when, when he was president during his first term, 
okay, uh, I had a problem with him because I didn't understand. But she got a pardon from him and she worked with him on prison reform. She got a law passed as to where um, they made it illegal for a woman to give birth shackled to a bed. Okay, and she did she did some prison reforms. Like I've been watching her and things and like the things that she's pointed out that she's been able to do with President Trump, okay, are things that the president in office now, who like I was saying about his crime bill to take blacks out the family, and the reason I could speak on that is because I myself was a victim of that. Okay, when it came out in 86 is the year I think I caught my case and it came out and went into effect in November and I caught my case in January and February and got sentenced and the judge and because it just started, I fell under that. Okay, before that, a person would catch a case. Get they, go to jail, get their number, do 30 to, 30 to 90 days up there, get their number, and you ain't put on parole for the last two years. Okay? Because of the crime bill, uh, you had to do at least 85% of your time. Okay? Like, so if you had 10 years, you had to do at least eight years. Instead of going... Good, going through the system, get your number, do your 90 days in the center, come back on the streets, do your two years parole, it's all gone and dead. Now you got to go sit in this jail for eight years. Okay? Now you got to go sit in this jail for eight years. All right? That's if you got a 10. All right? If you got to, if you got, you got to get at least a year to get there. But if you got a year, instead of going through that bubble, getting your number, you got to sit there for the next eight months, nine months. Okay? Ten months. You got to sit there for the next 10 months in order to get, in order to get out. All right. And like I say, I fell victim to that. Okay. But like, like I say, um, they had Angela Stanton King on Dr. Phil show. And like she said, she got all of these people. Her son wants to be a transsexual. Okay. He wants to be a girl, okay? Like she say, it's her son, she loves him. She don't have to accept that lifestyle, but she'll deal with it, okay? And still love her son. But this woman sat here on TV and had everybody, including Dr. Phil, they had some other train trainee come out, a transvestite come out and try and tell her about her child and what she, how she should feel and everything else about her child and had the nerve to say that she could be, he could be a better mother to her son than she could, okay? The world is messed up when men try to be women and expect you to treat them like women when they are nothing but a man in a dress, okay? I'm not saying that I have a problem with nobody, but I don't see where you should get the right to tell me what I can and can I do because you live a certain lifestyle. Like somebody was pointing out, like, um, like I think it was Angela that was pointing out, okay, about some girl, women had went to the spa, okay? And this is supposed to be a female spa for females, no male allowed, all right? But because the way they making things now, I could say I identify as a female, put on a dress, and a wig, and and because I say I identify as a female, you have to treat me as a female. So now when I go to this club, to this place that is all females, because I identify as a female and I just haven't got my nuts and dicks cut off yet, um, 
You have to let me in and let me fraternize with the rest of the females because I identify as a female. All right. And that is the world that we're getting to. OK. Um, I want to I go to school. I'm a little kid. I'm 14 years old. I go to school, but I feel like I'm a girl. We used to call them sissies. All right. Be honest with you. Back in the day, we called them sissies. All right. You a sissy or a faggot. All right. But today you get in trouble for saying that. Like, I probably won't even be able to post this video because I said that <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. Oh, see how I, get, I, I forget. Because even though it's not live, it's still a video that I'm trying to post to. Um, and with today's climate, 10 years from now, they'll go back and get this video and they'll pull this video up. And they will be like, you see what he said? You see how he said? You see how he was this? He was hate speech, hate speech, hate speech. You know, and Lord knows, I'll, I'll probably, they'll probably be trying to cancel me. But 10 years from now, I'll have so much money that I won't care about nobody trying to cancel me. Because how did, how did, um, how did Nino Brown say it? Fuck that bitch. Cancel, I'll cancel him. Buy another one. You know. But I guess right now I just felt like talking, okay? I just wanted to let y'all know about my, my T-shirt that I'm going to get. I told y'all about that. I told y'all about my, um, oh, she put that, ooh. I told y'all about the stocks. Didn't I tell y'all about the stocks? I guess I might not, or did I? No, I guess I didn't tell y'all about the stocks, did I? Okay, as far as crypto, uh, it's been dropping. It's been dropping. It's been dropping all week for a whole week. Then we went 432, 446, 480, 463, 445. Today it was at 445. So it's steady been going down. Uh, stocks. Stocks is fluctuating like, like normal. Okay. A couple of things went up, a couple of things went down. Okay. But bottom line, I went from, I still haven't got back to the 200s yet, but we looking better. Okay. Because yesterday we was at 145. Today we at 170. All right. And like I said, a few things was down, a few things was up. Let's see if I can go over here. Like when you come down my list, When you come down my list, you got green, green, red, red, green, red, red, green, red, 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 green, red, 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 green. Tesla went up. You know, Tesla didn't move, didn't move a lot, but it went up. Tesla went from twenty seven seventy one to twenty eight oh one. All right. Uh. Oh. ITM, I think that's 